What's up, foodies? My friends at Jewels Under the Kill sent over a couple boxes of nuts to try out. We're gonna make a recipe out of them. They did sponsor this video. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. They're an amazing company. We're gonna make a recipe with them today. We're gonna to make a chocolate salami using their coffee and chocolate hazelnuts. It's going to be delicious. Let's get into it. Start by adding about a cup of water to a pot and placing a bowl on top. We're creating a double boil here so we can melt the chocolate. You wanna put this on a low temperature just to get enough heat to melt the chocolate. If you turn it too high, you're gonna burn your chocolate and we don't wanna do that. Add in three cups or 400 grams of 70% chocolate and melt that down. Then we're gonna pour in half a cup or 200 grams of melted butter and mix it till it's combined. Now add in half a cup of whipped cream or 125 mils. We're gonna to toss in two packages of their nuts. We're using the coffee and the espresso hazelnuts. It's roughly three cups or 230 grams. Now I didn't chop my nuts. You might wanna give these a rough chop. I threw them in whole just to test them out. You're gonna want them chopped a bit more. The pieces were too big for the salami, but hey, live and learn. So give them a rough chop and then toss them in. Then we're gonna add in three cups or 250 grams of crushed Biscoff cookies. Toss them into your chocolate mixture and mix them in. Now taking your chocolate mixture, Cover it and place it in the fridge for about an hour because you want this mixture to firm up so you can work with it. While your mixture is in the fridge cooling down, take out some parchment paper and some saran wrap and place it down on the table. Once your mixture is ready, you're gonna take half that mixture and place it into the center of your parchment paper, forming a log shape. Once you have that log shape formed, take the paper and roll it up and over and roll it into a log. Now taking each end of the parchment paper, twist it until you get a nice tight log shape. Then we're gonna take that log and place it into some saran wrap and repeat and do the same thing and get it nice and tight. This is gonna help it hold its shape. Now we're gonna take that and place it into the fridge. I like to sit there for about four or five hours just to firm up a bit more. And then when it's ready, we'll take it out, open it up, sprinkle it all over with some powdered sugar and slice it up and it's ready to go. Hope you enjoy this recipe guys. It's a great Christmas dessert. Check out the link in the description below if you wanna check out more about Jewels Under the Kilt. They're a great nut company. They're an artesian nut company. Give them a try. I know you're going to love them. I know I do. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up, a subscribe down below. And until next time, foodie out.